this demo shows the new craft mode, which we added to Streams in the 0.29 version. Craft stands for Kafka Raft, and that's the mechanism with which the Apache Kafka project is replacing Zookeeper. Keep in mind that this is currently not production ready. It is an experimental mode intended only for development and testing. So do not try this in your production cluster. Another thing to keep in mind is there are many unsupported features right now in both Apache Kafka and Streamzy, and that the API for configuring the craft cluster in Streamzy is expected to change before it is production ready. Now I switch to my terminal. When I check the running pods, you can see that I have the operator already deployed, but I will need to enable the experimental craft mode. But before I do that, let's check which other streams resources do I have deployed, because if I would have some other Kafka cluster deployed and enable the craft mode at the same time, it will probably not end well for the Kafka cluster. But I, right here, I don't have any other streams resources, so I should be fine to enable the mode. Uh, so let's do that by setting the environment variable Stream the feature gate to enable the feature gate for the craft mode. So kubectl set env. I want to set it in the streams cluster operator deployment, and the name of the variable is streams feature gate, and we want to set it to plus use streams pod set, which is require dependency by the craft feature gate and plus use craft. Now we change the environment variable. And when I check the pods, you can see that the pod restarted because we changed the environment variable, but now it should be running in the craft mode and we can try to deploy Zookeeper as Kafka. Let's uh, check the Kafka CR which I prepared. As you can see, it looks pretty much like the standard Streamzy example file. It deploys Kafka 3.2, it configures the listeners. Uh, you might be surprised that there's the Zookeeper section as well, but the Zookeeper section is currently required in the Kafka custom resource definition. And uh, at this point, because the craft mode is experimental, we didn't want to change that, so you have to keep that in the custom resource. But uh, you need to disable all the other unsupported features, such as in this case, for example, the entity operator. So you either need to delete it or uh, comment it out as I did here. And then all you need to do is kubectl apply on the custom resource, ideally without typos. And when we watch the pods now, we can see that there's no Zookeeper pods, but the Kafka pods are already starting. I chose the simplest possible deployment, but if you want, you can, for example, enable also Kafka exporter for monitoring lag, or you can use cruise control for rebalancing the Kafka cluster as well. Now, the pods seem to be ready. And uh, if we check the custom resource, you can see that it's not ready yet, but uh, it should be ready anytime soon. And yeah, now we can see that the initial reconciliation ended and the cluster is ready. And uh, to make sure it is really working, let's uh, deploy some uh, Kafka clients and send and receive some messages. So let's start a new pod. Uh, which we will call Kafka clients. And we will open a terminal in this pod. Uh, let's use the quay.io slash streamsy slash Kafka 0.29. Let's start bash in this pod. Now we are here in a, in a pod which already has the Kafka software. So uh, 
now we need uh, to produce some messages. So as the bootstrap server, we just specify the bootstrap service of, uh, of the broker, my cluster Kafka bootstrap and we use the port 9092 so that we don't need to configure any any TLS or anything and let's send the messages into a topic called my topic and let's send something uh, simple hello world uh, the topic will be first created let's send another message which is hello world in, uh, in Czech in my native language and these messages have been sent and now we can try the consumer we again specify the bootstrap server my cluster Kafka Bootstrap 9092. We again specify the topic and we want to get the messages which are already there. So we add from beginning. And when we run it, we should see that uh, we get the two messages. So that was the craft mode. Remember, play with it, test it but do not use it in production.